Welcome! This video will guide you through the rebuild and replacement of a component seal in Viking Pump's LVP series vein pump. Before you begin, consult the appropriate technical service manual for safety information. A copy of the latest revision can be found on our website at vikingpump.com. The following tools are required. SAE wrenches, Allen wrenches, and an O-ring pick. A complete listing of tools can be found in the service manual. Keep the pump and work area as clean as possible. Drain the pump of any residual liquid by removing the drain plug located on the head of the pump. Mark the pump head and casing to ensure proper reassembly later. It is not necessary to remove the relief valve from the pump casing, but if removing the relief valve, take note of the orientation to ensure the valve is properly oriented when reinstalled. Marking the valve and pump can help ensure this. First, loosen and remove the head bolts. Remove the pump head and discard the head o-ring. Remove and discard the first carbon disc. Remove and discard the veins from the rotor slots. Rotate the shaft by hand to remove each vein. For component seal removal, first remove the seal holder bolts, seal gland, and o-ring. Remove the stationary seal face from the seal gland. If it is unknown as to which component seal your pump has, inspect the stationary face. If the face has a square PTFE ring, then this is the PTFE wedge seal. To remove the rotary member of the seal, first remove the seal access pipe plugs and loosen the shaft set screws located directly under these plugs. If the stationary face has an O-ring and no set screws are found under the access plugs, the seal is a bellows type seal and will slide off the shaft. To remove the rotary portion of the seal from the shaft, begin carefully removing the rotor and shaft from the casing. One or more of the push rods may fall out of the rotor, so make sure they don't get hung up on the casing. Once the seal slides on the shaft, you can push the rotor back in so that the rotary portion of the seal can now be accessed and more easily removed from the shaft. Once the seal is removed, remove the rotor and shaft and any remaining push rods. Next, remove and discard the second carbon disc by carefully lifting it straight out. If it should get jammed, a small screwdriver or punch can be used to help guide it out. Clean and examine the parts thoroughly and replace if worn or damaged. Install one carbon disc into the casing. The hole should align with the open hole on the suction side of the casing. The other hole should be plugged. If the disc should get jammed, don't force it. Pull it back out, confirm that it's aligned correctly, and try again. Coat the shaft with compatible lubricant and install into the casing. Just before the rotor is fully installed, insert the push rods. Once the push rods are installed, you may finish installing the rotor. Install the vanes into each slot. Orientation is critical for proper pump operation. Ensure the grooved face of each vein is facing in the direction of rotation and that the rounded edge points out from the shaft. Turning the shaft by hand should allow the push rods to slide down, allowing vanes to be installed. Turn the shaft to make sure the vanes and push rods are moving freely. Install the second disc into the casing, making sure to align the hole with the open hole on the suction side of the head. The other hole should be plugged. If the end cap has not been removed, a screwdriver or Allen wrench can be used to confirm which side is plugged. Lubricate and install the head o-ring. Install the pump head and tighten the head cap screws evenly. Turn the shaft by hand to make sure the pump spins freely. For component seal installation, first, make sure the shaft and face of the seal chamber are clean and free of burrs or scratches, which may damage the seal or prevent sealing. Coat the shaft with compatible lubricant. 
For the elastomeric bellows seal, also coat the O-ring in bellows. Install the rotary portion of the seal by sliding it down the shaft and into the seal bore. For the PTFE wedge seal, remove the setting clips before pushing the seal entirely into the bore and set the set screws to the shaft and tighten them evenly. They should be centered under the seal access holes. Press the stationary seal face into the seal gland with the lapped face facing out. For the PTFE wedge seal, make sure the notch in the back of the seal face is centered on the small pin in the seal gland. Lubricate and install the seal gland O-ring. Install the seal gland and tighten the cap screws evenly. Turn the shaft to make sure it turns freely. Finally, reinstall any remaining pipe plugs. Your Viking Pump LVP Series Vein Pump is now ready to be put back into service. To learn more, please visit our website at vikingpump.com.